welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review and flip through of the Kawaii Tarot by Danielle Lopez. This is a really cute deck. It's absolutely adorable. You can tell by the packaging. Uh, but the packaging itself is a little bit of a downer, but I'll explain the pros and cons. So you get 78 cards, obviously major arcana, minor arcana, even though they're both mixed within each um little cardboard box here the actual manual itself flips in like this into this little sleeve you know that's how it does it i can't even get it back in like it's a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit annoying but it's very cute it's kawaii tarot sweet days ahead so you start off with an introduction and you have some tarot spreads she explains major arcana minor arcana and then some afterthoughts so i thought that was pretty cute um it's very simply laid out very easy to understand the cards themselves i don't know about that this is not necessarily a great beginner deck but i feel like a lot of people are going to resonate with it especially if you're new to tarot just because it's so pretty like this is one of the first decks that i saw when i was starting out and i didn't buy it then i'm buying it now that i know a little bit better but it is very cute the cards themselves are a little bit small some of them did come a little bit damaged and i think it's because of the way they were inside the cardboard packaging like the magician I don't know if it's going to show. It just has a little bit of rippling here because of the way it was in the box. Um, I don't like the fact that it's displayed in two little boxes. I mean, they're cute, you know, but it's just not very practical in my opinion, especially if you're on the go. But that's fine. You can always find a different way of putting it. All right, so we're going to go through this one first to take a look at all the cards. So we have the Fool. We have the Magician. And then, um, so I did mix some of these up when I was looking at them earlier. So you'll notice a lot of the suit cards are not labeled. Just the first one, like the ace, the zero, whatever. Um, so anything to, to the last one, uh, they're not going to be labeled. I mean, you can still... You can still figure it out, of course, but I feel like that's why a lot of people don't consider this to be a very beginner-friendly card system. So then we have the High Priestess. We have the Empress emperor then we have this one there's an airplane flying by okay the airplane has flown by so we have the lovers the chariot strength which is cute hermit so it's just very simple designs it's very minimal but they're very cute um so that's just something to keep in mind i love the wheel of fortune because it's a ferris wheel and i'm all about ferris wheels we have justice the hanged man is very interesting um, <laughs> so usually with like other decks, you can kind of gather some type of information from the image itself. And with this one, you can too. This is the hanged man. Um, it's just, I would, I understand why people say it's a little bit tricky. If you're a beginner, I definitely wouldn't have enjoyed this if I was a beginner. And I am going to compare it in a little bit to the affirmators tarot, just so we can see what I'm talking about. We have death, which is pretty good. Temperance, the devil, dun, dun, dun. We have the tower, star moon sun these are so cute there's just something super cute about how simple they are judgment world ace and then you see what i mean like they're not labeled um so it's just really interesting like this one's really interesting because it's so there's so much empty space here but i really like it then we have this one it's on, I'm, I'll be honest with you, when I first purchased this, I didn't realize that these weren't labeled because what I was going to do, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, I'll tell you after this. We have Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and then Ace. And then we're going to open up the second box. So what I didn't realize, when I purchased this, I didn't realize that it wasn't labeled. And I was actually going to buy the Cat Tarot instead because I was just in the mood for a really cute tarot deck. I'm not, let's not kid ourselves like that's really why i did it so this is what the back looks like by the way i don't think i mentioned that so i the cat tarot is also not labeled in the same way as this one is so i chose not to do the, the cat tarot because i figured this one was labeled clearly it's not i didn't read it correctly um and that's my fault there's an airplane flying by i'm so sorry God. all right we have this one and we have this one i'm sorry there's an airplane flying by i do live near an airport and it sucks <laughs> king of cups Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace. We have this one, two, three. These are so cute. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. We have Page of Wands. We have Ace, 
The artwork is so pretty. I can see why this is like a top seller on Amazon. Five, six of swords, seven of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords, king of swords, queen of swords, knight of swords. I thought I just said this. I might have, you know, sometimes I film these videos and I don't realize what I'm doing and I'll say something that's not the word. I don't know if I have a mild form of dyslexia. I've always had that issue where sometimes... I don't even know how to explain it. Unless you catch those errors in my video, then you know what I'm talking about. King of Swords. <laughs> Five of Cups, Page of Swords. All right, so those are all of them. They're absolutely beautiful. We went through the pros and cons. Pros, adorable, cute, very aesthetically pleasing, especially if you're doing a reading for someone who's not, who's a little, like, hesitant about tarot, doesn't really know much about tarot, or just has bad associations with tarot. Um, and then the cons would be just learning it's a little hard. Um, you kind of get the gist of it, I feel. Um, it just takes some practice with anything. So if you are determined to have this deck anyway, despite all of the pros and cons, I'm with you. Don't worry. I'd say just get it anyway. Like, you'll get it eventually. Just don't get discouraged. Just keep practicing in any format that you want. Um, oh, that's another con. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this packaging at all. I feel like if it had just been a box like this, you open it and it's this and then the little manual, like maybe a smaller one, it would have been perfect. But you know what? Can't have it all. Oh, actually, I didn't compare them. Okay, so this is the deck. In terms of like the other decks that I have, like the Mystic Monday one and this Affirmators one, the cards are definitely a lot smaller. Oops. Which is kind of cute. Like, I like it. I like the difference in size. I think it's nice to have a smaller deck. I feel like this would be easier to shuffle. But yes, that is it for this little review flip through. I'm sorry I was a little chaotic with the noise in the background. But I hope you still enjoy. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.